The Milwaukee Brewers jumped out to a 3-0 lead against the Arizona Diamondbacks in their wild card series, but they couldn't hold it. Corbin Burns gave up four earned, and it was a two-run shot in the ninth that sealed it. A 6-3 Diamondbacks win. Chuck Freeman from Locked on Brewers joins me now. And Chuck, this all comes on the heels as well of the news that the Brewers could well be without um, one of the best pitchers in baseball for this playoff run. What happened in this game, though, that went so poorly for the crew? Well, early on, Peter, things were cruising along. They're up 3 nothing, and you're thinking, this is going to be the Brewers' day. Tyrone Taylor hits a, a two-run blast on no two pitch, and things are looking marvelous. Corbin Burns had no problems in the first two innings, and then came the third inning, and that game turned around in two pitches. He gave up back-to-back home runs. Uh, gave up one to Corbin Carroll and then Cattell Marte. Look at the scoreboard. It's 3-3, and this place is stunned. Gives up a home run in the next inning. By the fifth inning, two, two walks he gives up, and he's out of the game. I mean, Burns had a rough night, three home run balls. Your ace has got to pitch better than that. Hopefully they don't use this against him in arbitration next year. <laughs> <laughs> so there is, I mentioned the Brandon Woodruff news that he was going to miss this wild card series potentially longer. Or the Brewers are going to have to get it in gear if they want to be playing much longer in this postseason. How much do you think that added to the pressure of a game like this, a series like this? Well, here, here's what I think. The fact that the Diamondbacks didn't use their number one starter tonight. Yeah. And they're coming back. They got Merrill Kelly going in game three Thursday, if necessary. And they're coming back with their ace, Zach Gallen, in game two for the clincher. So you look at the Brewers road, you're facing Gallen, you're facing the potential. If you're lucky to get by him, you got Kelly. Plus, use Devin Williams for 31 pitches out here tonight in a relief role when your team was losing. 31 pitches. You used a lot of relievers tonight. I mean, Arizona used seven pitchers, but, I mean, some weird decisions, I would say, made tonight. Even Peter Chessie Winker being added to the 26-man roster and then pitch hitting in the eighth inning. Baffling. Now, he may have an oblique injury. If you saw him walking back to the dugout afterwards, walking back, holding his side, Craig Council after the game said they'll know more tomorrow about that uh, when they talk to the media. But um, just a disappointing... Again, started off, this crowd was fired up, as, as you know how it can be here at AmFam Field. Sure. And by the third inning, stunned when Burns gives up the back-to-back jacks. This is supposed to be a team that was theoretically built for the postseason because they had those two pitchers at the top. What is the plan now for this Brewers team in Game 2? How can they get it right? In? Well, Freddie Peralta is going to come back and pitch in Game 2. He was supposed to come and pitch Thursday. They're going to move him up a day on rest and they're going to have him pitch so and if they're able to win wednesday against zach Allen, they'll piece something together for thursday who knows they may go with a combination of uh colin ray and, and bullpen their way through that game but they got to get through zach Allen first which is obviously no easy task that guy's a you know, side young candidate uh no doubt about it but yeah the Bur- the woodruff injury throws a wrench into things but still, you got Freddie Peralta, who led the team in strikeouts this year. He's pitching coming up on Wednesday. And it's now or never for these guys. You know, that losing that first game in any series is huge. But when you play a best of three and you're forced to come back and win the next two. Yeah, they're lucky that this is not the old format where they might be one and done uh, in, in yeah. a situation like this. Uh, we, we've talked a lot about the pitching, but this Brewers offense – They have scored in their last 18 postseason games, 2.83 runs per game. You're not going to win in the postseason if you can't even get to three runs. Where where did the bats go in this one? Trust me, Peter. I've been to all those games, and I've seen them all. (laughs) So, yes, whether it was in 2018 out in Los Angeles, here in against uh, the Dodgers and the NLCS here, 2019 wild card, uh, you name it. Yeah. I feel like this offense usually hits the skids in the postseason. Now, they have either issues during the regular season as well, but that's the biggest fear because they're so reliant on pitching. They're so pitching top heavy. And not having Woodruff, yeah, that's a big chip to miss. 
but the offense has got to now, the, today the offense was terrific after two innings you're thinking now, Peter I'm thinking this is this is, this is a double digit runs game yeah, let's and then do they it. come back and the bullpen just kind of shut them down 